You'd think that um, if the informed consent is involved, then people can do whatever they want. Uh, certainly, for instance, if I want to go down to the casino, it's my money, and I decide that I want to risk it, um, a lot of people feel like, look, he has a right to self-determination. He should get to do so. Similarly, if I decide that I want to uh, smoke cigarettes or enjoy other kind of tobacco products, I know the risks. It's my choice. There's no wrong involved. I think that's an oversimplification, though, for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, notice that we think you have to be sufficiently mature in order to give morally valid informed consent. So, for instance, with statutory rape, it doesn't matter if I uh, get the so-called consent of a, a minor. Um, if uh, she's young enough, we feel as though that she's not in a position to give what we consider morally valid uh, consent because she wasn't psychologically mature enough to understand the stakes involved. Why should it be any different with tobacco? If the, if the tobacco industry uh, is targeting uh, youths who are not mature, who are not in a position, then whether or not they give their consent uh, to smoke, so no one put a gun to their head, we may worry that their consent isn't mature enough. And then later, if somebody uh, started smoking earlier, you say, well, now she's an adult, she can choose for herself what she wants to do. Um, if she's become addicted, it may not be that easy, right? Because in addition to being informed, consent has to be free. We think it has to be free and informed consent. Uh, and if there's an internal compulsion because your body's become addicted to these products, uh, then I think we can't so glibly say, look, she's choosing to smoke.